Newsflash, the British Empire. Newsflash, we won the war. Newsflash, the NHS. Newsflash, we left the EU. Newsflash, Joe Cox. Newsflash, Parliament's collapsing. Newsflash, Manchester's hit by a terror attack. What is happening to the world? Everything seems to be going wrong. And exactly whose fault is that? I'll tell you who. Grown-ups. So, some of you may be thinking, what's this kid saying? We did nothing wrong. Well, whose fault is climate change? Grown-ups. Whose fault is Brexit? Grown-ups, or at least half of them. <laughs> Adults are being trusted with decisions that won't even affect them. All the time they're making mistakes and leaving them for the younger generation to fix. The terror attacks devastating the UK are bad. And I hate them because nobody hurts my country and gets away with it. Nobody hurts my city and gets away with it. Manchester is a city in the northwest of England. It's a well-known fact. There was a terror attack there last month. Another well-known fact. But it's what people don't know that makes Manchester so special. Mancunians are strong, caring, kind, wonderful people. We are multicultural, accepting, amazing people. That's what makes us so special. You'd have to come to our urban paradise to experience Manchester. We have everything under the sun, even if we never get any. When people try to put us down, we'll always get back up, because nobody hurts innocent people in our city and gets away with it. Already, we've raised over 10 million pounds for the victims of the terror attack. So look to the people next to you. Show your love, show your support, hold hands. Show that we are Manchester, and we are a united kingdom. Yeah, we heard a, a great speech, didn't we? I think I've got competition coming, I think. Uh, a few uh, potential mayors of Greater Manchester there, but great to see. And um, I think this generation is finding its voice. Um, you know, through the general election, I think there is a feeling that young people have been made the target for cuts for too long, taken for granted. And it's great to see them finding their voice. And I have huge hopes for this generation. I don't think they do see the differences in society that previous generations did. They, they don't care about people's uh, religion, background, sexuality, uh, race. Those things are irrelevant to this generation. And I think they carry a great deal of hope uh, for us all. And it's why I'm so pleased that Chorlton High School today are having this great get together in the memory of my friend Joe Cox.